So I've been keeping a pretty big secret from you guys for several months now. I am a match to donate some stem cells to a 60 year old man with leukemia. That oh, is wow. so that's cool. That's Beautiful, all dude. That's all I know about him. You don't know where he lives. I don't nothing. know. He could be anywhere in the world. Yeah. I don't know a thing about him. That's him. part of it is the privacy of it, right? Correct. We want to keep everything, you know, people's medical privacy is a big deal. So I, I can tell you it's going to be next week. I can't oh, tell you exactly which day or where. It's not here. I'm flying somewhere else to do uh -huh. this, and I'll be gone for a few days. To backtrack where this whole story started, a little over a year ago, we had a little girl came in. Uh, she came into the studio to talk about a bone marrow drive that she was putting on because mm -hmm. she was looking for yeah. a bone marrow donor. Yeah. And so I've learned a little bit about bone marrow these last few months. And so bone marrow, it's obviously in your bone. Mm -hmm. Bone marrow makes stem cells. Stem cells make your red and white blood cells. Okay, huh. yeah. so you need that to Did not know that. be healthy. Based on the patient is the treatment that the donor goes through. So if they say they need bone marrow, they would put someone to sleep, go in, extract bone marrow, put that bone marrow in the recipient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Which one are you doing? I'm doing, uh, I'm donating stem cells. And basically it is a really intense form of giving blood. It's basically what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but joining us on the phone is Raphael. He's from DKMS.org. Okay. And he can kind of explain this a lot better than I can. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. kind of help answer some questions and stuff. So, hey, Raphael. Hey, Nick. Thank you very much for having me on. The method of donation that he is going to be moving forward with is called peripheral blood stem cell donation. So it's an apheresis procedure. So in case anybody has ever donated platelets before, it looks almost sort of the same thing. It's just a little longer of a procedure. And what, you, what he's going to be doing is basically in a bed or in a chair with his arms sticking out in front of him, a sterile needle is going to be placed in one arm. His, his blood is going to be passed through an apheresis machine, which is going to filter out uh, these things called hematopoietic stem cells. Uh -huh. They're blood-forming cells that will turn into platelets, red blood cells, white blood cells. And when you provide those blood-forming cells to a patient, who's already gone under chemo and radiation, they will adopt those cells, adopt his immune system, and jumpstart it. Whoa. And that's how pretty much these donations work. Isn't that insane? You're that... putting your blood up for adoption. Nick. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. And so, Raphael, the, the timeline of when I am donating the stem cells and the timeline of the recipient them, are yeah. very, it, it's very important to keep everyone on the right timeline, right? Because he's going to be going through a treatment of his own at the same time, right? Exactly. So in order to make sure that he can, or they can, or she can, they can all accept the, the stem cells, uh, they need to make sure that they put them under chemotherapy and radiation to get rid of all the malignant cells that they have. Uh, and then that way, when you do provide your cells to this particular patient, um, they, will, they will be able to accept them. It's a lower risk of rejection with the chemo and radiation. Raphael, what are the odds that you're going to be a match for somebody? Every year, 14,000 American patients are looking for an a unrelated donor, yeah. and less than half will get that. Six mm -hmm. out of every 10 patients will not be able to find uh, a, a donor. When it Actually, comes yeah, we, I just lost a friend, a little a, a buddy of ours. He's mm -hmm. a friend of the show yeah. that went on the Kids Kids trip. His name is Rowan, and he was waiting for a bone marrow transplant mm -hmm. for um, basically his whole life, and we weren't able to find him one. And Raphael, the cool thing to me that I hope everyone in Kid Nation hears is that it's so easy to sign up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. just a swab of the mouth mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. like a big Q-tip is basically what it is. Is that right, Raphael? How can exactly. people that are listening reach out and sign up? So um, that's, that's a very great point. It is very easy to register. They can go on to our website, dkms.org. Uh, I would welcome folks to go in, read about the process, read about uh, what it means to be a, a donor. And then there's a, there's a very brief questionnaire online where you can sign up, register. Once you put in the information and we make sure that it's, you know, it's medically okay, there's some screening questions, we send you a swab to your home with the, the two swabs in there and even a return envelope. You swab the inside of your cheek with uh, with that it looks like a Q-tip. Put it into the envelope, send it back to us, and we take care of the rest. Boom. You said he has oh, to no. fly somewhere. Uh -huh. Who covers the airfare on that? I mean, that's just a legitimate a great question. question. The, you know, insurance. 
Absolutely legitimate question. We cover for the travel costs. Uh, well, okay. With our donors, we facilitate everything. We have to fly out. We facilitate the, the hotel the night before, uh, the, the travel. For the donation, we also okay. pay for a companion to accompany the donor to ensure they're not going to the facility all by themselves. We do a very good job of making this as convenient as possible for our matched donors. I've done several different checkups appointments. Right. A few weeks ago, I was gone for a day. My kid was not sick, which is what I told everyone. Yeah. I flew to a different city for the day and did all these checkups and physicals. It was an all-day thing. Sneaky, and sneaky Nick. Flew back. I, not once have I asked to pay for anything. Not once have I even had to give them my insurance information. I mean, they take care Degrade. of everything. everything. Good to know. And my, yeah. da- my dad's going to go with me. So like you said, a companion will be there. So that'll be really neat. Yeah. And... Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, definitely get tested cool, because, look, a, a week's worth of feeling uncomfortable could save somebody's life. Bro, isn't yeah. it amazing what, the, what science can do nowadays? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, well done, Nick. I'm, hey, glad, I'm, glad, job, you're, I'm glad you're doing it. I'm glad you're yeah. a match. Yeah, man, good job, good bro. Thank you. Good job, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Hero Nick. Look at him. Aggie done good.